So a conversation I have with every veteran that I talk to, most of the time it's going to be in the, the context of getting approved for a home loan. And sometimes that's maybe as a little bit late in terms of being the ideal time to have this conversation. But I always talk to them about their disability rating because a lot of times they've thought about it, they've contemplated it, they just never got around to getting their disability rating or taking that first step towards getting their disability rating, they realize the pay is gonna be a couple hundred dollars a month or whatnot, and maybe it's not worth it. However, when the time comes to buy a home, funding fee, especially if you're using your VA benefit for a second time or a subsequent use, then the funding fee is gonna be quite a bit more. I think it right now is 3.3%. So imagine you got a $300,000 purchase, you're looking at almost $10,000 in VA funding fee that you can be exempt from if you go ahead and apply for your VA disability rating and have a rating before you close on the purchase of your new home. At that point, uh, the documentation from the VA would show on their certificate of eligibility, it's going to show that you've got no VA funding fee requirement, that you're exempt from the funding fee. And so I always have that conversation. And most of the time, my conversation is more along the lines of, let's go ahead and do this so that we can get you a funding fee refund. And so I'd much rather put them in a situation where they're not even paying for it and then have to get the refund later. I'd rather go ahead and get this taken care of ahead of time. So uh, that's the approach I take. And really, I would like to see every veteran take advantage of their disability rating if it's something that they have any possibility of achieving. And another place I tell people to go look for information on this, there's a guy on YouTube, Combat Craig. Both Combat and Craig start with a C. And uh, he's got a lot of information out there about veterans signing up, learning about their disability ratings, the things that can lead to a disability ratings. There's a lot of veterans out there that don't feel like that they deserve a disability rating, don't want to go through the process, don't want to take it from another veteran that is maybe more in need of the disability rating. And the reality is by getting your disability rating, you're actually helping the system because the, the more that the system pays out, the more money will get allocated to them. And I had a veteran explain that to me one time where uh, he actually got chewed out by an older veteran after he gave them that reasoning that, that uh, for him not going to get his disability rating. So.